Good enough. Welcome back to another episode of 2B2T A Journey, a series looking back at some of my old bases and projects, retracing my steps from 2016 to present day. Today we are going to go over the Pig Spawner Superhighway that myself and the rest of the Order of Lucifer made back in 2017. Remember to subscribe! The superhighway started at 00 Nether and stretched over a thousand blocks. This is 00 Nether as of yesterday. Okay, negative 1.648, 120, 0 0.371, her her her. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Welcome back again. To zero zero. Only this time we're in 2017. Things were a little bit different. Hellsmaster had a different strategy back then. Not everything was able to be detected by the illegals plugin that House had active at that point. This was a time when you could even lay down a hopper and then lay down your shulker of pig spawners and then just open the hopper and they would stream out to you. Back then items dispensed much more quickly as well. So the way these work is Pigs will spawn anywhere as long as there is a light source near. There was an argument initially as to whether to use glowstone or beacons. However, beacons proved to be the better option as they have a higher durability or hardness than does glowstone, as well as providing more than enough light. If you've been paying attention to the armor that people are wearing, stacked armor was around at this point and wearable. This was before the well-publicized stacking dupe, but there was still stacked armor that was around. And 32Ks were around, but not heavily distributed at this time. You didn't even need a hopper to handle stacked armor at this point. You can also see enchanted glass. It wasn't only me that was working on the highway either. A few members from the Order of Lucifer also participated in this event and more showed up later as the word began to spread. Dom2789, Sickbeats, and also Kill It had been helping for most of the time. Tyler also showed up later. Of course, not everyone was friendly. Back then, Imperium was just starting up, and the Spawn Masons as well. Everyone was sending out scouts to see what was going on. All of the new fags were talking about how much work there was. Courier 6, he was merely minding his business. Then you have Sun Easter Zombie, a family man. He never would hurt a fly. And then you have the Grand Lotus, aka Tenaxis. And well, I mean if there ever were a justified killing <laughs> of a supposedly unarmed man. <laughs> Look at that, he pulled out a crystal. He pulled a crystal out, this was justified, right? All right, I mean, as long as you guys see that, I think this was a justified Kekken. Now I put a visual disclaimer just for any deaf people that are watching this, you know, mainly because it's like visual aids, I'm assuming. But in any case, it's really bad video quality. It's understandable, I took it back in 2017 the unregistered Bandicam gang on top or something like that but yeah so just kind of deal with it since I usually do one group project and a solo build we will also be touring shitbase a decent stash base that I made back in 2017 that has also recently been found like I said at the beginning this project took us all the way up to about 1000 on the highway However, this video was only taken when we were at about 700. You can see some of the signs that we left behind. Discouraging eating of the pigs. Now on to shitbase. So shitbase is more of a... Dupe stash and less of a base. I would like to heavily emphasize that. However, the base was recently found and I figured it would be a good fit. 
I'd also like to point out that a lot of the footage that I'm using is courtesy of Dom2789, so check his channel out if you get a chance. So we're standing at the entrance to my base now. Can you see it? Okay, what about the lizard in this picture? Which can you find faster, the lizard or the entrance to my base? Okay, fuck you, never mind. By the way, we're directly under the nether highway. Here's the entrance to the base. And this is not actually how this base was discovered. The base was discovered from the overworld. So if that tells you anything about how secure building your nether tunnels at 5Y level rather than 120Y level could be. As I had mentioned in another one of my videos, 2B2T College, where I give out some secret tips on how to protect your base, this is clearly a horse highway. And speaking of horses, this is where my horse was killed, if you happen to see the post on the Reddit. Welcome to Ship Base. It's actually more of a stash than a base, but I thought that I would just go against alliteration. I don't fucking know. Where was it? I know I put it somewhere. Where was it? Gosh damn it, is it in here? Is it in here? No, it's in, is it in here? Where could I have put it? Oh, you know what? I know what happened. It turns out that a player named Who Is Next found my stash. Which is not that surprising considering the base is within 200k of spawn and there was a giant tunnel leading directly to it, which wasn't found. However, the guy that found the base actually messaged me in game as you can see in the screenshots. This base was created in 2017, and I've done various donkey dupes here. Various setups. Right here we have one of the more recent dupes, the Ice Donkey Road. Very fond of donkeys, as they are the givers of life on 2B2T. No, not quite that fond of them. Holy shit. Jesus, get that off my screen. Like I said, the base was more of a dupe stash, so... There are more storage areas than there are living spaces. In fact, there are no living spaces. Everything that doesn't store something is not here. It is somewhere else. One thing that Who Is Next did leave that I found was by my portal over here, which was only about 20 blocks from my base. There are a few assorted shulkers here. I consider that a small victory. The portal used to be linked to the top of the steps where the nether highway was which meant I could easily get a horse onto the highway. I'll try to get an overview from the top here just to show you how truly shit it was. Down here we have the tunnel that I had to dig for the one of the donkey dupes that you had to use future with. It was like the dot H clip dupe. And then also a couple of the other dupes that followed used the same tunnel so that was quite convenient, and I didn't have to rebuild another road until I had to build the ice road that you saw up top. Everything was taken from here. There was not one single shulker left in the actual dupe stash. In all, the person probably got away with about 20 dubs worth of shulkers. That's pretty much it for this base. The only shulkers that remained were the ones that you saw me find by the portal. Otherwise, he cleaned it out completely, but no actual griefing. Thanks for watching, that about brings us to the end of our tour. Remember to subscribe, let me know what you thought about today's episode in the comment section below, and remember, all of the music that you hear on this channel is original music, so keep an eye out for that, because I will be uploading it within the coming weeks here. And remember, circumcision is rape. Half of you probably don't even get the Back to the Future reference. I don't even know why I waste my time, to be honest with you.